The CAT D-Series skid steer, multi-terrain, and compact track loaders have a number of features which help make you more productive and also make your job easier. Let's take a closer look at one of these now, the work tool positioner feature. The work tool positioner allows you as the operator to select an angle for your work tool. That means you can return that work tool to that prescribed angle so that you can get a much better finished product. You can use it with many of the tools that we have in our work tool portfolio in addition to the bucket. A trencher, for example, it allows you to set the depth of that trench once you have it in the cut so that you can return the trencher to that very same angle and same depth at any time should you need to pull the trencher out of the cut. You can also use it with brooms, box rakes, cold planers, just to name a few of the tools that we have in our portfolio that could give you that benefit of using that work tool positioner feature. All right, so now let's talk to you about how to use the work tool positioner feature. The work tool positioner feature, as we, as we start, stated earlier, can be used with a number of work tools besides a bucket. We just happen to have a bucket on for this example, so we'll show you how you can utilize it with a bucket and uh, back dragging a little bit of the material. So first we're going to do is we're going to decide, you know, kind of where we want our cutting edge on our bucket when we back drag and spread that material. So we'll say, you know, for the purposes of, of our demonstration, we want the angle that we've selected here. So we've got our angle of our bucket. What we need to do is, again, use the trigger on the right hand joystick to depress the trigger, hold the trigger, and wait for the icon on the display to flash to let me know that I've pre-selected that angle to return to. Now, if I've used the return to dig feature, I'm going to need to select a different angle. The, the, the feature, while it has some uh, compatibility between those two things, only remembers one angle, so we have to reset at that angle. So now I'm gonna take the machine, I'm gonna go get my scoop of material, bring it back over here, and then we'll spread it out here with the rest of the gravel. Okay, so now we've got our material, we're gonna roll up here, we're gonna dump it, and then we're gonna spread it. our bucket like we normally would. Put our pile of material in here. Make sure we clean our bucket good. And now we want to return that work tool to our prescribed position. So we're going to take our joystick and we're going to move it like we normally would to rack the bucket back. But we're going to incorporate the trigger press yet again like we did with return to dig and it should return to that angle we pre-selected. just one of the ways that you can utilize the work tool positioner feature. I hope you can find different ways on your job site with your wide array of tools in order to help you be more productive and faster and have a better finished product. If you'd like to learn more about the CAT skid steer, multi-terrain, or compact track loader family, or other features we offer on these machines, please visit us on the YouTube channel, cat.com, or your local dealer.